Hi everyone, this screencast is going to go over the requirements for your video annotated lesson. And so you all have completed your culturally responsive lesson plan and this is the lesson plan that you guys are going to teach to either um, elementary students or your secondary students. And so what I suggest that you do is I would suggest, well first of all you need to make sure that you have a um, you have consent to video your lesson um, to your students. So if you are already at a school that requires a form that was sent out earlier in the school year, which you probably are. Most of those forms have been sent out already in the school year. If parents have already consented that their children can be videoed, they've already completed that media consent form, you are good to go. However, if they did not, I do have further down in here, um, here's a file, here's a UCA consent form that you can go ahead and send home to your your students or your students that the students that you are borrowing for this particular lesson and so let's go ahead and go through this particular assignment one thing that I would suggest that you do is I would video the entire lesson and so you can go back in and edit the pieces that you would like to submit for the video annotation. The video must be between 10 to 15 minutes in length, the video that you are submitting to me. So you're not submitting a full video lesson. So again, video the entire lesson and then you can edit it to a shorter length. For your particular video annotation, it must feature four components chosen from the Purdue TOF teacher observation form. And so there's actually two rubrics that are included in this particular in this particular document. I'm going to scroll down because the Purdue the Purdue TOF is what you are going to use for your video ant. So once you have your video, you're going to select four different, you're going to select areas that showcase four different areas of the Purdue TOF. So maybe you want to showcase content coverage. And here is the rubric here. So if you're looking at three or four, when you're writing your annotation, you are going to make sure that your comments align with this criteria here. And so basically you are showing me evidence in your video annotation, giving me specific evidence what's happening in this video that illustrates content coverage. Or maybe you want to showcase clarity of instruction or motivation techniques, pedagogy instructional techniques, opportunity for self-determination of activities of students, student involvement in a variety of experiences, interaction between instructor and student and student interaction between instructor and student and student and peers opportunity for student follow up on activities or topics of their uh, on their own emphasis on higher level thinking skills emphasis on creativity lesson plan designed to meet program course and daily objectives appropriate use of classroom technology. So you have lots and lots of different components to choose from. So let's scroll back up. So your video must must feature four of these components. So for example, your video might show motivational techniques with gifted students, involvement of students in a variety of experiences, interaction between you and your students, and then an, an, an emphasis on higher level thinking skills. And so in your annotation, you need to show evidence as evidence of understanding of these specific components, I want you to annotate each video using um, the video ant. And so I want you to provide thoughtful connections between the evidence, what's happening, what's happening in the video, and aligning it to those specific components. And so video will include a single teaching scenario that features ample evidence of, of elements included in at least four 
components. And so you can have, um, you'll have more than four annotations, but you'll have more than four annotations, but make sure that all of those annotations cover those four different components. And so as you are working on this, here are additional resources to help you refine your skill if you need additional resources in teaching your lesson. And here is the actual video annotation rubric. This is what I'm going to use to evaluate you. And so I'm looking for making sure that you submit your video by the deadline. The video is 10 to 15 minutes in length. It's thoughtful. Thoughtful planning and coordination are evident. Audio and video quality are clear throughout the clip. There's evidence of feature test components. And so actually it's not test, it's going to be TOF. So evidence of the featured TOF components. So you are including evidence of four to targeted TOF components. Um, the video clip annotations provide enough detail to link component to evidence. And your annotation should so show both weaknesses and strengths. So after you complete it, so I would say, you know, you definitely need to, I would say probably maybe five or six just to have a good variation um, of, different, of different annotations. So once you submit your video annotation, what's going to happen, you will submit it um, in Blackboard. You'll go ahead and upload that link, but there's also an option in Video Ant to share it with someone. And so that's the only way that I'll actually be able to get access in order to provide follow-up annotations. So once you submit it to me, I'm going to review it. I will actually respond to your annotations and then I'll send it back to you. And I'll tell you, I'll just let you know, hey, I've, I've reviewed it. Here are my my responses, please um, respond to my annotations. And so the last part of the rubric is that I want to make sure that you respond to more than three-fourths of the supervisor's comments. And so your responses should have continued conversation with me with my um, with my comments. And so here are some annotation tips, planning ahead, reviewing your TOF components, especially all the elements. Here's a resource if you want to review and edit the video. You're going to upload the video to YouTube. Uh, make sure it's private. Annotating your video, here's the resource here. The um, Video Ant is, is very user friendly and so we use it quite a bit in our internship. Um, for internship, our interns complete a similar assignment. And this link right here provides step-by-step -step instructions on how to upload and annotate your video. So this would be very, very helpful. So it shows how to upload, annotate your video, and I want to say the very last step at the bottom shows how to share it with me through Video Ant. So please make sure that that's very, very important because that's the only way you have to directly share it to, with someone in order for that person to have access to your annotations to be able to respond to them. So that's about it. Um, I look forward to these submissions. Good luck. Let me know if you have any, any problems at all as you're completing this assignment.